Okay, so in this episode of Gav Details, we are going to be doing a quick detail or an express detail on this uh, Charger Daytona. Um, similar to the BMW, the Brembo brake pads make a lot of brake dust. You see a lot of caked up tire shine here and along the side of the car. And we uh, will also be making sure that we use a matte specific cleaner and protectant on the roof, the hood decal, and the trunk decal. Uh, with the matte surfaces, you do not want to use anything that has any type of glossifiers in it. So you're just going to like return it to like a factory sheen. So uh, we're going to get started here. The vehicle is washed, uh, decontaminated with the McKee's Extreme Iron Remover uh, and a Chemical Guys Fine Clay Mitt using the Nano Skin Glide as the clay lubricant. So right now I have the camera uh, showing the roof and the roof is a matte finish. So we are going to be using the McKee's 37 Matte finish cleaner and protectant. So it says here, McKee's 37 matte finish cleaner and protectant is a spray on cleaner and protectant for all types of matte finishes, painted or a wrap, satin decals, gloss decals, paint protection film, and any other plastic or vinyl or graphic. Water-based formula gently removes dust, road film, and bug splatter without altering the look of the material. UVA and UVB light absorbers provide long-lasting protection on approved finishes, preventing UV-induced degradation and staining. Streak-free formula can be used in the sun or the shade. But as of right now, we're in the garage. The panel is cool to the touch, so that is the description of the product. The directions say, do not use on hot surfaces. Uh, working one panel at a time, a hood or a roof is considered two panels. Mist the panel with five to six sprays of cleaner and gently wipe using a clean, soft microfiber towel. Use a second clean, soft microfiber towel to level any streaks or smears. Switch to, clean, switch to a clean towel often. Be careful around edges and seams, wipe in the direction of the material, not against it. This prevents the edge from lifting. So that's going to be for anything like what we have here at the back, the Daytona decal. We, want to stay. we don't want to wipe this way, we want to wipe downward with the decal. So, like I said, uh, put the camera back on the roof here. Um, the roof I'm going to actually spray onto the panel um, I do have a coat of wax sitting on the car, so like for the trunk and the hood, I'm actually just going to spray the product onto the uh, microfiber towel and then uh, wipe the decal and then buff off. So I'm going to try to spray the middle here and work backwards towards the camera. I do have other lights set up to try and help show if there's any uh, added sheen. Um, I can see that there are some like watermarks. You can see here, watermarks here and here. So hopefully the cleaner and protectant will help remove those.
Okay, so as you can see, further away, uh, you can still see that the uh, roof is wet or damp with the product. So I'm gonna go back with a second clean and dry microfiber towel and just kind of buff whatever's left away here. As you can see, it's starting to remove the heavy spots. Okay, so you definitely want to flip the removal towel, I guess you'd call it, uh, several times just so that you make sure that you get all of the product off. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and go around and do uh, the rest of the panels and then I'll have a couple pictures at the end of the video uh, showing the car in the sun. So for a quick video on how to care for your matte decals and or paint and wraps. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And for more detailing videos, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks. I almost forgot, you can also use the matte cleaner and protectant on a matte wheel finish. So we're going to go ahead and use this on the wheels.